the breath continues to center in peace and joy and calmness and love. And then coming back in, let's go ahead and bring the fingers out. Bringing more breath in, maybe making it audible, flip the hands and just scoop them up and reach up. Maybe feeling the knees lower onto the mat, shoulders pressing down, tailbone grounding in as you reach up. So the arms are by the ears, really straight and feel the length happening in your spine. Maybe the left thumb is over the right, straighten some more. Active glutes perhaps helping you bring the knees lower to the floor. Bring the hands through prayer and heart center and reach out with core. Stay pressing your tailbone in slowly, just exploring this. So we always want to go from zero to 100. So today we're going to be, the theme is exploring all the degrees, exploring different things we can do in one pose finding where your body needs to stretch a little more. It's different from everyone. So lowering here. Take the breath in deep. Give the muscles the oxygen they need to expand, to strengthen. Press the tailbone in. Just breathe here, making it a little mini yin. Lowering with every exhale, releasing. Inhale brings that energetic oxygen. Exhale, lower. And then walking over with the hands to the left side here. So pressing in, Uddiyana Bandha, pressing in, protecting the back. Maybe bring in the Mula Bandha, where the cable activates the perineum. Then try lowering that left forearm down and still torso down, reaching with the right hand and lowering. And then slowly exploring the degrees. Stop about 25 degrees, reaching, opening up the ribs on the right side. Then maybe 30 degrees, reaching. You might feel it at your hip, stretching, expanding here. Reach, open up a little more. Reach, tighten up that core. Move on, do the Anabanda. Then maybe adjusting the forearm and open all the way up and stretch. Keep the knees lower into the floor. Bring that breath in. And then lowering down slowly. Once your hands down, reach out, spider finger both. Down. Lowering, lowering, and then sweeping to the center here. You're going to feel a lot more engagement happens in the right arm. We'll hit the left arm this one, lowering down. Press the tailbone in, maybe adjust the feet, wiggle in more. Round into Mother Earth Center, gratitude, and then sweep gently. A few degrees at a time toward the right. Just with every breath, maybe move a little more degrees. Make sure sit bones are balanced, and then you have all the way over to the side. You may want to take that left hand and the right. Keep the bondage. Bring in big breath, and then reach out with the left hand, force it down, reaching. Maybe lower the right forearm down, stay reaching with the left hand. And then slowly, a few degrees at a time, stretching, bringing it up. Exploring those varying degrees, you can discover a lot of things.
opening all the way up if you need to adjust your forearm. All the way up and reaching out, pressing sit bones down, balancing on the mat, knees forward. And then come down slowly into the torso, face down. And then just inching back across. To the center, and maybe this feels really wonderful. And lower. And big inhale, exhale. Huh? Maybe a little poly inspired in that exhale. I'll try that again. And then the next inhale, gently with core, with the cable muscle, Uddiyana Bandha, dragging the fingers. Bring them on the knees, roll the shoulders up, scrunch. Keep that kegel, pressing that tailbone down, scrunching, and then around, pressing down. Inhale, scrunch. Exhale, roll down. Okay. One more time. Exhale, roll down three times the opposite way. And then just wiggle in, relax, putting your hands on your ankles before we start the spinal flex. Let's just activate the neck, just exercising with the really straight spine, chin to chest, chin up to sky, chin toward chest, toward earth, up to sky. Remembering intention. Next, your chin is down. Roll to the right shoulder, halfway, and then roll down to chest and then left. Feel free to do circles if that feels good, but I think this is safer. So just one or two each way, change sides. And then bring the head up when you're ready. I love your dog. <laughs> let, let your right ear go towards your right shoulder. Press, maybe bring the fingers out, spider fingers. Press the ear down toward the shoulder. Maybe inhale, stretch, reach up with the left hand. And then just gently encouraging. Pressing down, lose the hand, then bring the right hand up. Encouraging down. We're just exploring what it feels like to change the hands. Put a little weight on the head, encouraging it down, maybe reaching across. And then the other hand pressing down, dragging out. Inhale, bring the head up and lowering it down. Other side. And then the right hand just gently encourages while the Left hand goes out, just pressing. And then coming down, then the left hand comes up and drags that length and tilts the neck lengthening. And then comes down, pressing shoulders down, bringing the head up, bring the hands back to the ankles and then just nice spinal flex. Begin moving back and forth. Slow, perhaps, really feeling the spine lengthen. Come forward, lower, feel the ribs expanding. A couple more times this way, and then we're going to place the hands on the knees and then do this nice supi grind, supis grind. Again, exploring the different degrees first. Slowly finding where the kinks are. Lower back issues. We can work through stuff here. Just enjoying. And if you want to, when you're forward, just kind of go back and forth, forth, right to left to right. Just working through. Keep the bondas 
keep the core. Same thing with the back, the back and forth. And then just moving in circles and reversing when you feel you're ready to explore the other side. You can make it fast or slow at this point, just having fun with this, opening up the sacrum, releasing tension, emotions in the hips, all the stuff that we carry with us. So we've got the second chakra open, we've got the first chakra grounded in. So it's creativity, physical, creative energy is the second one. The first one's first chakra, that's safety and security. So just mindful of that as your tailbone grounds into the mat and you move feeling a sense of security and safety no matter what's going on in the world, bringing your creative talents into your life as we reinvent our lives in this new world, that a lot of it's going to stay, right? Then coming to stillness, let's just bring the legs out when you're ready, slowly into staff pose, straighten the spine, press the shoulders down, maybe point and flex the feet. Inhale, bring the hands up, press the shoulders down, reach up. You need to wiggle in, taking a nice big inhale and then exhale, hinging forward. Maybe just a little playfulness here before we fold. Keep the core. Maybe you wanna reach with one hand and then the other. Maybe we wanna grab the right hand to the left foot and twist. And then the left hand to the right foot and bring the right arm back and twist. So one arm goes back, one arm reaches forward as we twist. Nice warm up for the hamstrings, nice twist for the digestive organs. And then coming back into that folded step. Maybe you come lower here, touching your toes, folding in, just collapsing, but keeping core active to protect your back. Bringing in lots of oxygen here on these stretches. If your hands bind, that's great. Just holding and relaxing where you are, bringing in into this. Great for sciatic nerves, great to release pain and open up the lower back. I think women get more of that than men maybe. Mm -hmm. Next inhale, gently coming up slowly. And bringing your feet up, hands to your side and just Wiggling the knees, releasing the back, looking one way and the other as you do a nice twist. And then let's move into tabletop, Betsy, and find whatever movement you want once you settle in and you find the stability in your tabletop. Opening your shoulders, activating the core, start some organic movements and free flow. Moving into cats and cows. Go ahead and take the right foot out, pressing the toes back. Keep the hands on the mat though. Feel the strength and the balance. Shoulders on the mat as you're pressing your foot back. Square your hips. Activate the arms, a lot of core. Now reach out with the left hand. Really reach here, square hips. And slowly with a lot of glute activation, a lot of calf and leg, bring that leg up, fire up the glutes, lengthen the leg, reach, and then bend slowly with control, reach back for that leg, lifting up. Nice big breath, 
Looking back, exhale all of that out. Inhale again. Exhale, release slowly. Reach forward, stretch. Flex and point the foot. Square the hips back. Realign. I can't find the song, Square the Hits Back, Realign on Pandora. Alexa, stop. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes she just starts talking. <laughs> Who is that? Alexa? Oh no, now I just called her again. Stop. <laughs> okay. How oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though because I'll have her set my timer and everything when I'm doing a lot of stuff or cooking. Next left foot back and she's she's good. <laughs> I've got them everywhere and I start the music. Reach out with the right hand, really pressing back with the left foot, and I'll have music going everywhere. The speakers are pretty good on those little, you know, the little yeah little ones. Yeah, lot of activation, glutes, thigh. Calf, lifting up that back leg, reaching with the right flex and point the foot. Square the hips, really feel the muscles just activate, reaching up, opening the arms, and then slowly, with control, reach back, holding the foot, lifting up, looking back. Gently release, hands, feet stretching out. And release down, back into tabletop, just working it out. Roll the hips from cat to cow with the hip rolls. Anything that you want to do. And then taking the toes back and just sitting back on the toes for a little bit before we move into camel. Sinking here, open the chest. Make sure every toe, if you can, is getting that reverse movement that opens them up. Reflexology, a few more breaths. Lifting the chest up. And then release the hands down on the mat, tap the toes out. Just let them go, tap them out. And then tuck them back under and lift up. So for camel, we don't have to have them tucked under, but the second camel, I thought we might try to touch our heels. Let's go ahead and bring yoga pockets in. Try to find your body's straightness. Activate everything, feel the alignment. Lengthening like there's a, you know, a thread, something lifting the crown up, pressing the hips out, elbows moving together and gently lower. As you lower, keep the crown moving up, keep the neck lengthening, pressing hips and thighs forward as you lower. Don't lose the breath. One more nice long breath here, bring the elbows closer together, lifting the chest up, pressing the hips and thighs out, and gently with core come back up. Next time, if you want to see if you can lower down, touching the heels. Once you're there, open up the chest, lift it up, press the hips and thighs out, lengthen the neck and lower. Every lower, mindful that your hips press out, thighs press out, neck is lengthening, chest opens with the breath, exhale, lowering. Stay with the breath, two more. Exhale, a lot of core, gently. Come up. Inhaling, bring hands up, reach, maybe flatten the feet. Little wiggle here. Hands together. 
Just come over to the right side and stretch. Okay, catching you. It's just us, so catching that right stretch. Straighten your arms if you can. Open the shoulders. Maybe you look up or down. And then come up. A lot of core on here. Inhale, reach up. Get those hips. It's working. Exhale, keep the core. Over to the left side here. Once you get there, stretch, reach. Head looks up or down. And roll. Come on, back up straight, reaching. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your, um, your feet. Just sitting here in Thunderbolt uh, rock pose. If you want to, we're going to do heroes. So if you want to do half or full. So heroes pose would be taking moving the flesh of your calves on the outside and sitting in. You can use the block or we can do half heroes. Your choice. How are, how are your knees for this? Um, I've got a, I'm on wood and I've got a thin mat right here. I've got a thick mat nearby. You want to do half, so have the right leg out and the left leg coming into. Okay. Yeah. And then we can do a fold here. So inhale up, flex your foot and then fold down. While you're folding though, try not to lean too much on one side. Try to keep the hips square. How many dogs do you have? Oh, it sounds like about 20, but it's just two. <laughs> I've, got, I've got four, but two are my mom, so I got two at home now. They're quiet during the morning, but the afternoon? Yeah. Not so much. One more breath and then come up. Yeah, mine definitely. Has hair. They're pretty good at night, thank God. And I'm in Highland Park, so bring that leg out together and just kind of shake them out. So we have a lot of night activities. So I know if they work at night, bring the right leg to the other side for heroes, move the flesh around. I know if they're barking, something's up. So I don't, I don't, they don't bark for nothing. <laughs> and they say in neighborhoods that are marginal, you um, dogs keep, keep your, keep safe. inhale, bring it up. When I first moved here, exhale, forward fold. They said that the houses that didn't get broken into were the ones that had dogs. So I became a dog person and then I just fell in love with them. I used to be a cat person and now I'm totally a dog person. I love cats too, but dogs are a whole lot more maintenance, but they're worth it. Right. Breathe and lower. So at a square, it's easier on some sides than others. We know that. So just try to make sure that you're not leaning too far over on one side, squaring your body. A couple more breaths here. And then inhale, come up. Bring that other leg out. Wiggle it around. And let's just... Come back into tabletop. If you want to roll your hips around or all anything, I don't know where you are. Every day is different, but sometimes I get jammed back on my back, so I like to roll my hips. Tuck your toes under, press back with your hands. Take a nice big breath as you're pressing forward. And then exhale, hips come up, walk it out, downward facing dog. And let's just wave forward into plank and hold plank here. Expand your shoulders, reach over your wrists, slightly looking forward, make sure the core is really, take the time pressing back with the heels forward, lengthen, feel the muscles wrapping around the spine, hold this, bring the breath in. And let's roll over to the right side. 
for side plank. Holding up here. And then take that, Katie did this in her class and I just loved it. From side plank, take the left leg and bring it forward. So cross that left leg over. So if you can see from side plank. So crossing that left leg over. And then let's do dips this way. Because I like to do dips in side plank, but these are really nice too. So do five dips on this side. And then just lower the hip all the way down. And this foot is crossed over. So just finding, roll back on your, on your hip and this hip. So this foot is crossed over and we're going to do a nice stretch. So take the right arm and hold the leg towards you and twist around or you can gold post it and twist. And then let's just unwind and just twist all the way around to over. Come down into Cobra and lift up a nice little back bend. Pressing your elbows against your side, shoulders down, chest up, a lot of core. Squeeze that cable too. You want to bring your hands out for seal, holding. I like seal. Pressing shoulders down, open chest up. And then release all the way down, bring your hands to your side. We're going to do a little locust here. Inhale, come up. Two more breaths. Lower down, one cheek. <sighs> Inhale back up. Maybe do some swimming or flying. And then lower down the other cheek. Bring the hands up to the side in Cobra. Go ahead and push up into tabletop again. Tuck the toes under, nice big inhale. Exhale, hips up, walk it out. And wave it forward, Betsy. Plank. Holding. Pressing toes back, heels back, lifting up that core and that navel. Active core, feel the power in this. And then roll over to the left side, side plank. On the left, open up here. Reach. And then take that right foot over this time and do five dips here. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> and then just sinking that hip down and finding that leg over, just coming in, wiggling in so that right leg is over the left and left arm comes around to Hold it, supporting yourself, straight spine or gold post arm, locking in and twisting. If you didn't roll your eyes, then roll the eyes around with the eye muscles, a nice exercise. And then just release out of this, winding around in that direction you were looking, coming back on your belly into sphinx so holding your chest up 
heels up, legs together. Lifting, eyes closed, finding that calmness, that peace, the joy, the love. Connecting with your intention. And then exhale all the way down, hands to your side. Let's do a little bow here. Bend those knees, reach back, hold the feet. Inhale, lift it up. Breathe here. Open shoulders. Exhale, release down, crocodile. Here, under your chin, your head, and just windshield wiper. And then releasing your legs down, hands by your chest. Come all the way up into tabletop, tuck your feet. Nice inhale, pressing back, exhale, walk it out. Let's go ahead and inhale, right leg up. That's the end of three-legged dog. A lot of breaths here. Feel the equal distribution of the weight in your hands. Feel the heel grounded into the mat as the right leg lifts up. Awareness, full body awareness here. Square the hips, feel the thigh turning in. Body aligned, bend and stack. Now opening the hips, keeping the shoulders square, roll the ankle, open up. Then bring that leg back up, open. Come up on your toes, bring that knee to your left elbow, cross over. Inhale, left heel down, bring that right leg up. Come up on your toes now, bring that knee over to that left elbow again. Inhale, come up on your toes. Now bring that knee to the nose. Inhale, bring it back up on your tippy toes. Bring it to the right elbow. Inhale, inhale. bring it back up, open up, bring it to the right elbow again. And we're gonna lower into pigeon, finding a blanket or whatever prop you need, if you need. Pigeon on the right side. Once you have your prop, squaring yourself, finding your breath. Three, cascading. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, lowering down. Chin to chest. Inhale, come all the way up, looking up. Exhale, down one more time. Up. And then gently, slowly lowering down for a nice minute of pigeon. Three more long breaths. Hands firmly on the mat. Inhale, bring your body up. Reach out with the left hand. Shoulders press down, square hips, a lot of core. Square on the mat. Inhale, bring that hand up and around. Tap the back of your leg, perhaps that encourages the foot to come up. Anything that you want to do, moving that foot up here, maybe balancing, reaching out with the right hand. You want to gracefully bring it around, try to touch, moving toward mermaid. And then taking a nice big inhale, exhale slowly, releasing down with control, waving left hand back around. Tuck that back foot in. Press those hands on the mat. Inhale, bring that leg all the way up. 
Pressing that left heel down, opening up here, should feel pretty good. And then bend and stack again, that foot only this time if you want to flip, slowly to your feet, letting that left foot spin around and should lower the right foot down, open the chest. When you're ready, gracefully bring that right hand back around. As you find your balance and move the left hand, left foot around the mat as the right foot gently comes up. And your whole body turns and slides and twists around, ten of fun. Bring that right leg back up and then down. Walk it out. Move the prop on the other side. Inhaling left leg up, three-legged dog. Following your hands, square hips, lifting that leg. Come up on your right toes, bring your knee across to that right elbow. Bring that left knee back up, lower the heel, open up again. Come up on your toes, bring that right knee over to the right elbow. Bring it up. Lower that heel. Bend and stack now. The knee. Wiggle the foot. Square the shoulders. Next inhale, bring that leg back up. Come up on your tippy toes. Bring your knee to your nose. Bring it back up. Stretch. Bring it to the left elbow this time. Crunch in. Ah. Bring it back up. Stretch. Now bring it to the left elbow and slowly slide down to the left wrist, moving to pigeon on the left side. Finding your top. Inhale, raising up, rising with the breath and cascading three times like we did before. Melting in the pigeon. Three more breaths. Next inhale, gently with control, bringing your hands up, reaching out with the right hand. Inhale, bring it all the way around, tap the leg, bring it to the left. Opening into the crease of your elbow, if that's there for you, then reach out and balance with the left hand. Coming up, stretching, enjoying the degrees as you wind around to meet the hand or wave at the hand. Once you have that, see if you can open the shoulders up. Good. One full breath here. And when you're ready to release, slowly, good. Beautiful, Betsy. Come back around. Left hand finds its way to the mat as the right one comes around. Slowly. Glance onto the mat. Tuck that right toe back. Wiggle in so that you're ready to kick that left leg up slowly. Stretch, press that right heel down, and then bend and stack. Shoulders stay square, moving towards your flip dog on this side. Open chest, nice back bend here. 
Whenever you're ready, bring it back around the same way you came. And then lower the foot and walk it out. Wiggle the feet back, create space more or less. Just feel the power, bring the breath. Couple of Kali breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, walk your feet up to your hands. Just hang here for a second or two. Maybe picture frame your face with your thumbs and your elbows. Then releasing your fingers, come up, fingers and head last all the way up. Keep the core in here. Once you're up, we're in the hands. This is where I think I'll move this back. I'll just have it there. <laughs> Okay, good. So at the top of your mat, let's go ahead and just inhale and reach up. Exhale, come into chair. Just sink here, tuck your hips in. Actually feels, feels good after all that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of sink in, tucking the hips in, bring the core in, reaching up with the arms. Go ahead and come into prayer here. And then inhale and twist to the right. Lock those arms around, looking at your elbow. Let's see if we can lift that left leg with balance. And then bring that left leg all the way back for crescent, twisted crescent. If you wanna open up here, Placing your left hand down, reaching up with the right in this twist. And then lowering the hand and sweep back up into crescent lunge. And let's just release our hands back and come into a humble crescent warrior. So just Doing a little differently, lifting the hands up. In balance. Lowering the hands down, sweep them back up into crescent. Now, nice big inhale, open up into warrior two here. Sink into your warrior. Move into peaceful warrior, releasing the back hand, flip the front. Come into extended. Once you're here, you've got the shelf. Make sure the knee is moving toward the pinky. Maybe once you have your balance and your pose, you can lift and release some of the weight on your thigh. Nice inhale and then bring that right hand down. Open up the left hand, really stretch here. And then bring the other hand down, one hand on either side of the foot. Kick that back foot up, turning the hips square to the mat for standing split. See if you can find a balance challenge. One hand and both, perhaps. And then lower that foot down into pyramid. Take the left hand on the outside of the right foot. We're gonna do revolved pyramid. So block or whatever you need with that left hand and then inhale, bring the right hand to the hip as you prepare to open it all the way up or just go all the way. Exhale, bring that hand down on either side of the foot. Step back, take a vinyasa. Inhale, looking at your hands. On your exhale, walk, step, jump, or float to the front. 
Inhale in half lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, sweep it all the way up into chair again. Sinking. Hands come into prayer. Other side. Sink into your chair. Tuck your hips in. Open your shoulders. Inhale and then exhale, twist left side. Mm. Nice little crack there. <laughs> Jennifer will say she sounds like Rice Krispies. <laughs> Open up here if you want. Come back in to that twist. Bring lifting the right foot up this time. Slowly bringing the leg back. Take your time if your balance is rocking it. Enjoy it. Every day is different. Eventually you'll plant your foot down for crescent feet. If you want to open up again here while you're here. And then just sweep your hands back up for crescent lunge. <sighs> Tucking the hips forward, little back bend here, a lot of core. Exhale, release the hands behind you. Open the shoulders and then do a nice rinse and crescent. Lifting the clasp hands up. <sighs> now lowering the clasp hands, release. Sweep back up, crescent, and then open up into warrior two. Release the back hand, flip the right warrior. It's using peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Tuck the hips in, reach, feel the space in your ribs and your organs. One more breath here, sink in. Exhale, sweep through, extend it side angle. Yeah, open the chest. Sinking in here, maybe beach ball once you have your pose. And then gently bringing, when you're ready, the hand down, opening here. Open that chest, reach up with the arm. Then bring one hand on either side of the foot, lifting that back leg up, squaring the hips, standing split. Good, if you wanna try one hand balance or both, Nice. Nice playing with different balance. When you're ready, we're gonna place the feet down for pyramid and gently move toward the right hand being on the outside of the left foot. Maybe the left hand comes to the hips or just goes right up, but we're going to revolve this pyramid here, working for that left hand to come all the way up. Nice twist, reaching, breathe. <sighs> Exhale, release the hands. Step back, take a vinyasa. Inhale. Dude, we got choices here. We can inhale, look at your hands, jump forward into a loss of a squat, or you can inhale, right leg up. And then with grace, bring that right leg on the outside of the right hand. Lift the left hand, you jumped good. I like to jump too. Malasana squat. Do you, do you want to do crow or crane? I'm, I'm real good right here. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Just hang out here for a second. We'll, we'll do some Charlie's Angels fun, maybe three or four of those. Reaching out, clasp the fingers, point the Index fingers together, left thumb over right. A lot of core in this. Fire up the glutes, bring it up. Nice big inhale, stretching, reach it up. Exhale all the way down, hands down. Ah, bring it up three more times. Exhale, come down. Fire up the glutes when you come down. Really give it that extra inhale all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. We're going to stay here for a second. Wiggle the feet however you need. Come into goddess. So in goddess, let's go ahead and do some. Tuck your hips in, but just give it that for the lats, for the chest. Six. 
All right, the glutes, Shh. six. Now let's do, like it's like you're coming in. So holding a ball in and out and out. So working different muscles in your back. Three more times. And then goddess. And then reach up again in prayer, wiggling the feet. Inhale and then sinking back into the last of the squat. One last time. Really bring it straight, bring the spine. Let me lower my iPad down. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the floor. Let's give it a, just a wide legged before we do the winding down. Inhale, up, exhale, center. Just hang out and breathe here with this beautiful opening. Maybe flex your foot. <sighs> Gently sweeping across to the left foot. You can find your toes if you want to bind. If you're on your shin, wherever you are, just tuck your torso, keep your core, and breathe into this. Three nice long breaths. Next inhale, sweep the hands to the center. Release down a little more. And then sweep to the right. Same thing here. Just lowering. Three more nice long breaths. And then finding the center again. Maybe you can come to the floor all the way. Maybe you can touch your toes, flexing your feet, active core. Next inhale, let's bring it all the way up. Enjoy how open you are. Legs together, feet together. Just a little, just a little body kanasana. Open the chest, press the knees down, straighten the spine, shoulders press down. And then bring the knees up. A little release here, twisting. And then bring the knees together, moving toward boat. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, come into canoe. Maybe pedal or paddle. And then inhale, bring all the way up. So feel free to lower down and raise it up two or three times and then eventually taking your time and coming all the way down onto the mat. The closing series. Constructive pose, the feet are on the outside edges of the mat. Open your arms wide, lift your heart. Let your right, knees fall to the right side, head to the left. Just releasing there, let them sink in. Two or three breaths here. <sighs> Inhale, bring them up, gently release them to the other side. Head to the right, knees to the left. Or just make sure they're opposite. Then bringing your knees all the way up. Bring them into your chest. Give them a nice big hug, pressing your hips on the mat, rocking from side to side. We have two, three minutes, so we can move into bridge, uh, shoulder stand, wheel, fish, happy baby. So just move through. Are you still with me? Yep. 
Okay. I'm, your video is off, but okay. Um, just finding whatever you want. Bridge, shoulder stand, wheel, supported. I think I'm going to do a supported bridge. Just playing with whatever you want to, what you need. Ending in happy baby, and then we'll go into Shavasana. I didn't see how low my phone was and my charger's not in here. You didn't see how low your phone was? <laughs> yeah, my phone's about to go down, so that's why the video went off. Oh, yeah, because the video does, it eats the, the battery. Yeah, I just forgot to bring my charger in here. It's out in the other room. Well, I just wanted to make sure I, I, you were still there. I hadn't missed the Right. Message. No. <laughs> So depending on whatever you you did, um, just kind of moving out of that. If you need to do a fish, do a shoulder stand, just kind of grab your fish. Happy baby, the last one. And happy baby, I find myself enjoying taking my peace fingers into my big toes and just opening up. It's, extending my legs completely and rocking from side to side. I think that feels fun. And whenever you're ready, just finding Shavasana Betsy. Before you find your regular breath cycle, Taking nice big breath, stretching, flex and point the feet, activate the glutes, really, really tense up the whole body, maybe make fists, and then melt into the mat, bring the toes together, let them kiss, and let your feet flop. So hands to the side, feet a little bit open, and just melt here, eyes closed, reconnecting, revisiting the intention, knowing that you've done this beautiful work, balancing your body, quieting the mind, deepening the breath, and just melt. Shavasana, your time. Feeling the energy return to the fingers and toes. Finding small movements and then bringing your hands all the way up, taking a nice big stretch. Bring the knees into the chest and rock them side to side. Eventually rolling over to your side of choice in fetal position. Gently pressing yourself up, bringing yourself up into to make me an easy seated Sukhasana. Hands in prayer, thumbs pressed in sternum, shoulders down, chest open, lifted. One nice big inhale, exhaling, all doubt. One more inhale, all love and peace. Exhale, all doubt. Inhale, bring hands all the way up to God, to sky, reaching, connecting with peace and truth. Exhale, bringing peace, Shanti, into your mind, into your thoughts, into your body. Exhale, bringing space for love, inhaling. Exhale, all the compassion into the world. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhaling, day. 
this. Thank you. Thank you, Betsy. See you tomorrow. All right, dear. Have a good day. You too.